Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while but I've been pretty busy and I haven't been really motivated so that kind of sucks. But I'm here bringing you guys another video today on how you can upload your templates to Photopea. And you might be kind of confused on what that actually entails but I'm going to show you right now. So once you're at Photopea.com, don't click anything because you're going to want to actually go here to PSD templates. Go ahead and click on that and it should load up a bunch of different templates that people have uploaded. So a lot of these may look familiar because they are mine, like this one is mine, that one's mine. A lot of these I've uploaded. You can upload your own, people can use them. So I'm just going to click on one of these. I'll click on one that I made, so this one right here, the neon one. This one is probably the most popular one on this website, so you can see how many uses it has. So it has 12,000 uses, and that's pretty cool. That means this has been used 12,000 times. It shows you the size of the file, when I uploaded it. Uh, I typed in a little description for it. You can click this link and have access to this file. So you can edit it and all that. Down here is a bunch of comments. People can comment on it so you can see the creator of Photopea. That's what's up. He commented. A lot of these people commented about it and I think that's really cool. Um, it's, like a, it's like a social media platform for graphic designers. It's really cool. I like that a lot. So let's just go back. I'll show you how to actually make it now. So go to add templates. Go to new template, and here's a simple, really easy to use menu. Just type in all the stuff that you need to type in, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I got to a point where you might be kind of confused. So basically, here is the file. So what you want to do is go to your file, go up to file, and publish online as a PSD. Hit OK. Now you can see up here your link changed. Go ahead and copy that link and paste it into the file. So this is basically all you need. Um, now for the thumbnail URL, what you want to do is just go up to file, publish online as a JPEG, hit OK. Now just right click on it and copy image link and use that image link right there. Now for the category, this is just where it's gonna be on the website, where it's gonna be sorted. So let's just say it's a YouTube banner or whatever. Go to YouTube and hit save. Now, once you do that, it'll be on, you know, somewhere around here, it should pop up and people can use it. So it's super easy to do and super cool. I really like it. He's been working on it, so that's really cool. Um, constant updates on this. So hopefully this helped you guys and hopefully you guys will check this out. This might help a lot of you guys because there'll be more options on here for you guys to use. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.